Shazam! That's a badass shirt, the iPad producer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your favorite fat boy Shazam, the iPad producer, and today we're checking out the beta version of iPad OS 14. We're gonna see what music apps and what video apps actually work in the beta and to see how stable it is, see what it offers. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so first of all, I got my trackpad, Magic Trackpad, and my Magic Keypad or keyboard, and uh, I love the way it's integrated. Probably won't be buying that. Uh, keyboard case for $350. I think they're tripping on that. Maybe I'll buy one second hand. But uh, one thing you need to get, it's a must, if you're an iPad Pro producer, video producer, you got to get this hyperdrive, bro. Man, you get HDMI, 4K60, so when I'm using LumaFusion, I can export to my 60-inch 4K TV. Um, and it offers a lot of connectivity. You get your headphones, USB 3, micro SD, and regular SD, and you get the USB C charging through, which is pretty dope, and you get the HDMI out. It's about uh, $89.99 at uh, Best Buy. I'm not really sure if that's on sale or if it's going to be on sale, but that's a must, man. You got to have that, even though I always hook up an audio interface, you got to have that uh, headphone jack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, first up, Cubasis. Let's see what we got. Okay, worked. <laughs> seem to work so we're on a good start good start let's see another track okay okay now the audio from this probably isn't that good because i'm going headphone out into my uh persona studio live 32 which is a ginormous audio interface Okay, for those of you that uh, wanted to see the widgets running, there's the widgets. It's kind of cool. Um, not really sure how that would benefit us as musicians or video producers, editor, or your YouTube content. I do like the fact that it gives you your Bluetooth widgets for your battery. That's kind of awesome. Um, music played doesn't show anything because I haven't played anything let's see how do you add a widget do you just hold down oh huh. okay hit the plus button smart stack I assume is this one right here where you can funnel through it it's kind of dope let's add something that's not on there let's well, let's try the weather widget this looks pretty dope Let's try and add this one. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you get it on your home screen? That's what I want to find out. Can you just add it to your home screen? Is that just iPhones? Hmm. Keep on the home screen. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's see the Aurea. Seems to work. Let's play some audio, make sure that works. Oops. Let's get that out the way. Now the audio is not going to work that good because, like I said, it's it's not getting great audio. I got stereo going into a mono channel. So, all right, let's see. Three finger swipe up. 
Let me see. Three finger swipe up again. Takes you home, home. Let's see. Four fingers. Okay, cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if uh, LumaFusion works, which is my go to app when I want to edit all my YouTube content. Let's see. Well, it seems to be opening up. No, no issues. Okay, cool. One thing I do love about this trackpad in iOS, what is it, 13.4 and up, is using two fingers to scrub through. I mean, that's super awesome. I mean, I really love it. This is a NAM 2020. Looks like we won't be having any of these anytime soon because you know what's going on, that virus. But anyway, it looks pretty cool. Audio seems to be working. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead, three fingers swipe up. And we are home. Okay. So we've seen, let's see, Cubasis, that works. Aurea, let's, let's make sure we double check, because I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, looks like it's uh, working. That's what's up. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, I like that you can uh, two finger swipe to go through your stacks and your widgets. It's pretty awesome. Um, in this beta version, I don't think you can add widgets to the home screen yet in iPad OS, but you can do it on the iPhone, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's see what else works. Let's see if uh, AUM works. Okay, looks like it's working. That's good, that's good. Okay. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's swipe up get that out of here let's try beatmaker 3 let's see if beatmaker 3 opens up in ios 14 looks like it does okay looks like beatmaker 3 works but these are my go-to apps i use aum when i'm using my mpcx because it's just easier to route the audio into there. I use my iPad as a sound device, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's let's see if some synths open up. Okay, pure synth seems to work. Let's try uh, Monopoly. That looks like it works. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like a. It works. I mean, I have different iOS apps. I mean, iPads. So. If you guys don't know what Rico Studio is. Or uh, it's basically like Switcher Studio, but it's for recording instead of uh, live streaming. So I would check that out. It's pretty dope. If you don't know what intro made is, I use this to make a lot of, uh, whoops, I use this to make a lot of my, um, videos, the intros, outros, things like that. That seems to be working. I very rarely use iMovie. Let's we'll see if they added anything new. Oops. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't really use this app, but it seems to be working. That's good. Action movie. You gotta love this. JJ Abrams app. It's pretty dope. You can, uh, it's like green screening live kind of dope if you guys haven't checked it out check it out
you basically doing green screens live. It's kind of cool. You can do some creative stuff with it. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's kind of dope. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else that I can open up? Let's see. I got tons of AUV3s. It's the way to go. Interop Audio is dead. Instruments. Isymphonic. We'll see how that, uh, if it opens. Looks like it does. This is one of my favorite apps. Has some very, very nice string sounds and brass sounds. Must check it out. Must check it out. Let's see what else. Let's look at the Hammond B3. This better open for a hundred dollars. Nice. It works. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Uh, let's see if this cord, cord model. Oh, that opens. Nice. So it looks like um we're safe, us musicians so far. You want to test out that beta? I'm not sure if every app. If you guys wanted me to open up every app to see what does work and what doesn't. I got too many on here. But uh, it's safe to say if Aurea, Cubasis, AUM, if all those open. Let's try Core Gadget. I know a lot of people use that. And it looks like it's working. With a lot of notifications. Okay, my goodness. Okay, cool. That opens. Let's see. Something that probably wouldn't open. Let's try. Mm. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen any crashes so far. Looks like it's, um, as far as us music and video producers go, if you use LumaFusion, iMovie, Cubase 3, Aurea Pro, Beatmaker 3. I think we're good to go. So if you guys want to download this, upgrade your iPad to the dev beta version, I say take the leap if you have multiple devices. You might not want to put this on your main device. But, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Well, it's your, it's your boy, Shazam, the iPad producer. And uh, I'm out.